Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video today. Today I am unboxing a giant package full of WWE action figures. Now as you can see in here, there are the figures. There is some in box and some out of the box. There is a ton. These cost me quite a little bit, but they are going to be worth it. They're going to be in so many SWC matches and shorts. So make sure to stay tuned for those. As you can see, they're nice and wrapped. But, let's get them out of the package. Alright, as you can see, there's some out and in the box, but we have to get this wrapping off. Alright, so all the figures are unwrapped and ready, but here is a bag of accessories. Uh, most of these accessories came from the figures, so as you can see, this hardcore belt came with uh, Viscera. Um, so yeah, this one is pretty cool. I might actually use it in real videos. Comment down below if I should use this hardcore belt in real videos. But here we have Bray Wyatt's lantern. Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. Um, I will be making a video with him shortly. So stay tuned for that one as well uh, for WrestleMania. But we also have this Big Show toque. I really think that's really cool. This Big Show hat and this uh, little basket thing came with yokozuna i don't know if it actually came with the figure or not i'm not too sure but it is pretty cool and this cane head is actually undertaker underneath as you can see undertaker's head right there uh which is actually kind of cool because that is the cane figure that i bought the cane figure i bought is the cane or the undertaker disguised as cane and here we have bray wyatt's hat i will be using um that as well i uh, and here we have this wwe championship but the old one that I have looks way better. Here, let me go get it. As you can see here, the old one is way shinier than this one here. This one looks way better than this one. The old one is better in my opinion. Now, moving on to the figures. Our first figure is Shield, John Moxie, Shield, Dean Ambrose. This is a 2018 Elite, I believe. Um, and yeah, there's some scratches on the figure. I mean, that is what you expect when you buy them loose. But still, 10 out of 10. I got it for very cheap as well. Uh, did not get them off eBay. If I got this off eBay, I would have been paying like five times the price. Um, but yeah, uh, that shield Ambrose is really cool. Here's the Viscera. Um, this figure is really cool. I don't know if I'll actually use it in videos. Comment down below if I should use this figure in videos. Like actual matches. Because I might. I don't really know. I just bought it because maybe it would uh, be worth something one day. But here we have Luke Harper, Brody Lee. Rest in peace. Um, as you can see, he has scratches on his little wife beater there, but that is all good. His face, his eyebrows are a little bit chipped, but that is fine. I just wanted a Luke Harper Elite, and I got one, so yeah. And now we are on to Bray Wyatt. Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. Um, yeah, this is probably going to be the figure that I'll be using against The Rock at WrestleMania. So yeah, this figure is absolutely incredible. This is probably my favorite Bray Wyatt Elite, and I got it. Um, so I'm really happy about this one. This one's really sick. It actually looks really nice But here we have Seth Rollins elite. This elite is actually really nice I'll be using this one instead of the pink one with the question marks that I have currently the SummerSlam elite I'll be using this one instead. It looks way much better uh, Way better way better it looks it's an amazing figure. It does have some um, Scratches on the face. I do believe but the head scan is uh, better in my opinion And here we have the demon Finn Balor with the blue attire but it did come with the headpiece, but there is no headpiece. Like the little, I don't even know what it, what's on his head, but it was supposed to come with it and it did not come with it. So I'm a little bit disappointed about that, but it is all cool. And here's Yokozuna. I am so excited about this figure. I will 100% using, be using this in videos because this figure is amazing. I've always wanted Yokozuna ever since I knew who he was and I finally got one. He's an absolutely amazing figure and I'll definitely be using him in the future look at that hat scan absolutely incredible but here we have chris jericho now with this chris jericho it has a little scratch on the leg there as you can see nothing really on the back but the head is full with red paint sharpie marker something i don't know so i might have to do a head swap with one of my basics or try and clean it off because it looks impossible to clean it off especially because I've painted figures before and it uh, just can't come off so I don't know how that one's gonna work out I didn't know it would have paint but here we have John Moxley I've wanted a John Moxley figure forever finally got one his feet 
are a little loose, but this jacket can also come off as well. It came with the jacket. The head scan is really nice. Um, but yeah, the jacket, I don't really know if I'll use a jacket, but if you look at these feet, they are so freaking loose. It's not even funny. I don't even know if this is usable. I don't even know. And that's the bad part about ordering figures online is that you don't know if they're loose, if they're in good hands, if they're broken, you don't even know. But yeah, and here we have Matt Hardy. I bought this Matt Hardy so I could have a tag team with Jeff. They both have white pants. My Jeff Hardy Ultimate has white pants, so I think it would look really good for the two of them to be a tag team. And yeah, maybe we'll have some tag team, uh, more tag team matches in the future. I've only done one so far, and I'm planning to do more, especially for WrestleMania. So yeah, comment down below who you think the Hardy Boys should fight in a tag team matchup. Please, please do, please do. Anyways. We are now on to the Undertaker dressed as Kane. Now, it also comes with the Kane head, so it's basically Kane. So, I'll be using it as Kane, of course. I don't have a Kane Elite. I'll definitely be using this in videos 100%. I've wanted a Kane Elite forever. Um, I would really want a Unmasked Kane because that Kane is just probably my favorite. But... We also bought this Big Show. Now, it came with the toque. I didn't put the toque on it. But this Big Show Elite is absolutely insane. I'm super excited for this because I've also wanted a Big Show Elite for the longest time. And I don't like using basic figures in videos. And I used a Big Show Elite in uh, Royal Rumbles before. But I finally get to use Big Show in matches because I just don't like using basics in matches. So I finally get to use him. It's an incredible Elite figure. And yeah, I cannot wait for this one, man. Big Show, comment down below who you want to see against Big Show. Maybe Andre the Giant is a very big possibility, especially. But now we are on to the GOAT, Horns Swoggle, man. This figure is absolutely insane. I don't know why it's not focused. It's not focusing. But as you can see on his face, his face is a little bit um messed up. So I'm probably going to have to scrub that off with some soap. It's probably going to come off. It looks like marker or something. But yeah, finally got a Horn Swoggle. Um, it looks pretty cool. I could have got the Leprechaun one. And I got this one. I don't really know why I got this one. It probably would have looked a lot better if I got the Leprechaun Hornswoggle, like the normal Hornswoggle Elite. But yeah, now we are on to these boxes here. As you can see, James Ellsworth. This figure, I don't know really. I don't really know why about this figure. I mean, it's just a nice little figure to have, I guess. But it's okay. This figure has been opened in the past, so don't be all like cringing out right now that I'm opening it because it has been opened in the past. And it comes with this little stand that you can set your figures on. So maybe I'll use that. I don't even know what I'd use that for. But uh, yeah, here's James Ellsworth, man. Like, and these arms, bro. Look how skinny those arms are. No way. That is very skinny. And he has no chin as well. No chin, James Ellsworth. There he is. Absolutely cool. I, I mean, it's a cool figure. I will probably use him against Hornswoggle at WrestleMania because 60, 70% of you wanted me to use it. And here's the shirt too. A lot of you guys wanted that match Hornswoggle versus James Ellsworth. So I'll probably be doing that one. Well, I will be doing that one for WrestleMania. So stay tuned for that. And now we're on to our Eric Rowan. Now, this figure is absolutely incredible. Now I have the full Wyatt family uh, intact in Elite. And as you can see there, the same Luke Harper figure that I have is in the same series as this Eric Rowan. The problem with this Eric Rowan is that it does not come with the wheelchair, but still it was a big steal. So I had to buy it. But as you can see, there's no wheelchair and it's been opened once before or probably multiple times before. But as you can see here, I will be keeping the box as well. But, and it also comes with the sheet mask, which I'm excited about because I'll definitely be using these in videos. And if you guys do want to see the Wyatt family in videos, comment down below. Because I will uh, maybe one day have the Wyatt family compete in matches against the Shield, the Bloodline, whatever you guys want. Comment down below if you want the Wyatt family in the SWC universe. As you can see, it's an elite figure. It's a very nice figure. I think it is very cool and very usable because I've always wanted uh, a Wyatt family as a trio. But guys, here are the figures. I mean, they look absolutely incredible, all of them together. So comment down below matches that you guys would want to see between all of these people because there is a ton of them. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this unboxing video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And rest in peace, Bray Wyatt and Brody Lee. So yeah, without further ado, guys, stay tuned for WrestleMania. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see each and every one of you guys next time. Goodbye.